All right, this is Liberty Stock number 50903. It's a Rottler model F65A multi-purpose CNC machining center. Serial number 65097, new 2004. Has a touch screen control for programmable automatic machining. It has a Windows based CNC control with fully programmable cycles. Okay, let's do a quick walk around. Yeah, sure. You're up front already. Come around the side. Quill. I mean spindle. Air package on the side. Power draw bar on top with the servo. Coming down the loop system down there on the bottom of the column. Got a tag up there if you want to grab that real quick. Yeah. You're guiding me. <laughs> yeah. You forget, it's easy to forget that stuff. Watch how much I forget on the control now. <laughs> Air package in back, power draw bar, mister, and uh, the vortex for the, which we don't have on right now. Keeps the cabinet cool. That's, that's cool. Yeah, come around, the switch gear, all the hardware's up on top, the ball door package, three servo drives, and one spindle drive here. Computer's down low. And on the left is a buck, buck boost transformer. We're currently running 208 into that on this machine. I think the machine internally takes 240. So we're good there. Come around in front. I'm going to pop the tool out of there, turn the air on. We'll turn the spindle on. You can listen to that a little bit. And, uh, and we'll go to the axes real quick. So that's good to go. Out is down. And... Take that out, that works. That's pretty good, I'll leave that right there. And come around on the coil, just to show it. Looks pretty nice. Bring that down. It's a nice shape. Comes mm -hmm. back up, yeah, that's good. Take it back up a little bit. Dude, this has to be all the way up if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna leave it right there. That looks pretty good. We're gonna run the spindle. Uh, there is an override here. It's clockwise or counterclockwise. For spindle, it's plus or minus, what I call override. Uh, which is set at nothing right now. I, don't, I didn't run a program on there. So uh, clockwise, will it even do anything without a spindle speed? No, it won't. Well, well you know, it will give me a chance to show it then. We're on program 58. Let me put a program in there, which is really simple. Let's go to 31. And I think that's the program I was running before. With that in there, there's program 31. I think that'll give it a spindle speed now. We'll just start that right away. Let's see if that works. Let me run that. We can jog it right after this. I just want to get a program up there. Let's see if we get a spindle speed. That's no, 500, okay. So while it's running, I can override it and jack it up a little bit. 600. It's all moving, and I can do the same thing with the feed rate. I'm just going to bring the clock, clockwise uh, spindle up to about there's 700, 800. It's still moving. Let me bring up the feed faster. We're not cutting any metal, so I can bring that up a little bit, speed it up to maybe 200 percent. There we go. I just moved feed to 200 percent, and even though we're calling for 500, I'm at 800 on the spindle. And watch this. It's going to jump another 100, 800. 900, sounds good, looks good. We're still moving on the uh, program. It's gonna back out here in a second. Back down at 800, 600. That's coming out. So you see how easy it is I changed uh, programs. That's program 31, that just happens to be a program in there. Uh, just, I'll just go through the job. Well, here's hand wheel which we happen to be, I'll put it on Z. You can kind of see it here, it's kind of moving. It works, it works like that, of course, with all the back Z's Y. And it's moving slow. If you want to stand back a little bit, I'll leave it on medium jog instead of hand wheel. And now we'll just, with Y, use the plus and minus, which is move plus, move minus. We're moving now. Yeah, I can see on the oh, you see positioning. It all right. Yeah, you can, yeah, okay. We can hear it, it's good. Here's high. You can get a better feel for here's X X if I pick that out maybe I'm too fast I have to slow down there we go 
the center off the table a little bit. There's minus and Z. Lastly, we already ran the program. I'll leave that alone. You wanted to get into the screens a little bit. That's all. That all runs good. Jog runs good. Uh, we're in the, what they call the uh, flex cam, flex pad screen. I can show you briefly a little bit. I'm not real uh, <coughs> well versed on it, but there is a controller directory, controller program. Uh, I said the, the uh, viewer can just freeze all these screens. I'll just kind of move through them rapidly. Controller directory shows all the different uh, programs and different uh, positioning programs, whatever they're using that for. Mine is, to the key mine slot is up, yeah. yeah. Mine is up at the top 31. Is that what it says? Yeah. Yeah. So I'm doing key slot mill. That's what I just ran for what it's worth. If I pull back out of there, there's the program that I'm in. This is number 31. That's the program. Uh, so that said, uh, setup. Also, it's got parameters, positioning, there's all kinds of good stuff in here. We'll jump down to can cycles. That's something that the uh, control offers. We go into the Rottler F65 app, and this gives a series of different tabs. Uh, like I said, I'll leave, leave it on there for a second, and we'll jump into any one, 114L rod, whatever that is, and maybe hit connecting rod, and this moves me into a whole different page of different uh, uh, inputs. If I hit program, I think it has a picture of what's going on up here and different, that's maybe what they were running on this thing. Here's automatic. Show some uh, things on there, program. And I just pull out, of, to pull out of this now, and here's manual, takes me back to that page. Main menu. I don't want to save changes, I made no changes. And if we go into uh, bushing, and maybe, what was it, pocket mill we were kind of looking at, that was kind of and look at pocket dimensions, that's that. I mean, for what it's worth, I don't know what I'm seeing here right now, but uh, shows a lot, anyhow. Pocket locations, but oh, that's pretty cool. Look at that. <laughs> and auto cycles up here. Yeah, it puts back in there, pocket locations. So, uh, diagnostics mode select, I won't go into that, control lockout. But this shows all the feedback. Main menu again, I do not want to save changes. And inch units, parameters, and of course floppy drive over here, hard disk to floppy. It's for backing up and saving. And I don't know, general operation, we could hit one more maybe. See, that takes me to the same page. There's two pages here. There's this page, and let me hit the next page. So, like I said, the viewer can freeze frame it and take a read all this. I'm not sure. Pocket mill, left O-ring, right O-ring, tap. I haven't been into this. I don't know what tap is. There's tap. It's a different sort of page right there, see? And uh, back to main menu. And back to that uh, one we were in before, which was connecting rod. And the program, and there's that. So uh, yeah, there's a lot to look at in here. Can't show it all in the video, but let me give the viewer a, a sense of what's, what's on board with that Rottler 65 software. Do we cover everything? Three axes, spindle? I think we covered uh, as much as yeah, you can. Did a tool change. Yeah, it's the basics. Just wanted to get through the basics here. Uh, the door, of course, will come in. You know, that has to be in position to run an auto cycle. Got it.